Thanks for dropping in. Remember these things. Before smartphones, a Rolodex was the go-to device to store phone numbers, business cards, receipts, and more. If you needed to remember something that only came up a few times a year, you'd scribble it on a card, toss it in the Rolodex, and be set. Some of these devices are still around, carrying on their noble role. But there's got to be far more just collecting dust in attics and basements. So I decided to give a Rolodex a new task, one which my cell phone couldn't usurp, organizing 3D printed filament swatches. Once again, I'm exploring somewhat familiar territory here. Filament swatches aren't a new idea, so what does this design bring to the table that's new? Well, to start off, they're designed specifically to work with a Rolodex. Each swatch is appropriately sized Rolodex holes, as well as an extra cut in the center here, so the cards can bend enough to easily snap onto the Rolodex rail. The bottom of each swatch has also been thinned to only 0.4 millimeters, which makes them even more flexible. My biggest complaint with existing designs was that they tended to force me into a template that I didn't want. That shouldn't be a problem with this design, because it supports a ton of customization. An optional star indicator for favorite filaments, an optional bridging test on the back of each swatch, an optional layer height preview, and most importantly, up to four lines of text in different fonts, styles, and sizes. If your computer has a font installed, this design should be able to access it. Just open up OpenSCAD's font list window located under the help menu. Find your font there and copy that to the specific line you want. That's right, each individual line can have a different font or a different size text. Speaking of text, all typography in this design is raised so that it's easy to switch out colors mid-print for far better legibility. Before I started this project, I thought all Rolodex cards were standardized. Sure, I knew the cards themselves could be different sizes, but I didn't realize that the track holes within the cards had different distances from the center. So, for this design, you can set not only just the width and height of the card, you can also set the exact positioning of the Rolodex holes. I've defined the hole offset as the distance between the center of the card and the center of the hole. I don't know if this is the case internationally, but all the cards I've seen are sized in terms of inches. So, to make data entry easier, the OpenSCAD project lets you select either inches or millimeters when defining the overall shape of the swatch. Everything else in this project is in millimeters, because that's just how my brain do. As you can see from all these designs, I was serious about making this style flexible. You can even disable the Rolodex holes entirely, and use this as a generic swatch system. And since this is an OpenSCAD project, this can be adapted even further if you dare venture into the code. Finally, the design comes with these spacers, which can also act as labels. So far, I printed 27 swatches and 54 spacers for this more compact Rolodex. The spacers keep things rotating smoothly and evenly positioned, but you may not even need them if you have enough samples printed or if you can just keep most of the Rolodex cards in place. But what if you don't have an old Rolodex? Or maybe you do, but it's still being used. Well, next week I plan to release a printable Rolodex case. You can even use it with standard Rolodex cards if you want. Now that I've promised it, I probably should get to designing that. So until next week, thanks for stopping by. Oh.